First reading, Hebrews chapter 7 verse 1 to 3, 15 to 17. Melchizedek, king of Salem, a priest of God Most High, came to meet Abraham when he returned from defeating the kings, and blessed him, and Abraham gave him a tenth of everything. By the interpretation of his name, he is, first, king of saving justice and also king of Salem, that is, king of peace, he has no father, mother, or ancestry, and his life has no beginning or ending, he is like the Son of God. He remains a priest forever. This becomes even more clearly evident if another priest, of the type of Melchizedek, arises who is a priest, not in virtue of a law of physical descent, but in virtue of the power of an indestructible life, for he is attested by the prophecy, you are a priest forever of the order of Melchizedek. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 110 verse 1, 2, 3, 4. Of David's Psalm, Yahweh declared to my Lord, Take your seat at my right hand, till I have made your enemies your footstool, Yahweh will stretch out the scepter of your power, from Zion you will rule your foes all around you, royal dignity has been yours from the day of your birth, sacred honor from the womb, from the dawn of your youth. Yahweh has sworn an oath he will never retract, you are a priest forever of the order of Melchizedek. Gospel, Mark chapter 3 verse 1 to 6. Another time he went into the synagogue, and there was a man present whose hand was withered, and they were watching him to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath day, hoping for something to charge him with. He said to the man with the withered hand, Get up and stand in the middle. Then he said to them, Is it permitted on the Sabbath day to do good, or to do evil, to save life, or to kill? But they said nothing. Then he looked angrily round at them, grieved to find them so obstinate, and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and began at once to plot with the Herodians against him, discussing how to destroy him. 